across the country, in places already overwhelmed with homeless animals, thousands of dogs, some as young as six weeks old, are sold in the sweltering heat, along with many other animals, for profit at flea markets. How much is she? They're asking $400 on her hunt. Sellers say their puppies are well-bred and come from good places. And she's a little apple chihuahua. They don't shed. This doesn't need any grooming. But in this hidden camera investigation in 10 different states, at 21 different flea markets, and at dozens of puppy mills, the Humane Society of the United States found that puppies sold at flea markets, in fact, do come from puppy mills. This is Raymond Merritt, just one of the many breeders who sells puppies at the Bonnie and Clyde flea market in Louisiana. Annie Catlin assured us that her dogs come from her small family kennel, where the dogs are well cared for. But when we visited her kennel, this is what we saw. are one of the least regulated ways for puppy millers to sell to consumers. This dog was recently you know, up for sale at a flea market. That's the kind of lives they live. The Humane Society of the United States rescues dogs from puppy mills all over the country. So you see a lot of dogs? Yes ma'am, a lot of dogs. In Ripley, Mississippi, a town with no animal shelter, stray dogs roam the flea market where breeders come to sell puppies. I was like, I sell them, I let them back. It don't matter. Puppies or not. There, there are more dogs that die from here than anything else because of car bite. Dog Alley in Canton, Texas, where more than 100 people show up to sell puppies on market days, is possibly one of the worst puppy selling flea markets in the country. After camp <laughs> the ranchers go out in their fields with the guns and, and uh, the ones that are thrown out, they're out, they're out there shooting. While millions of dogs in shelters, some only months old, wait for a chance at a home, while puppy mills continue to produce an endless supply of puppies to be sold at flea markets. 